Shane here and welcome to my September 2020 booktube slash youtuber shout out so as always this is a list of 10 of the channels that I've recently been enjoying uh, we've got a couple of sort of well you'll see when we get to them a couple of non booktube channels but I think you guys might still be interested anyway as always all of these channels are linked down below and we'll just jump straight in up first we have books of blood the clue there is in the name uh, I can't remember what the old channel name was now um, but anyway, uh, great YouTube channel, great booktube channel, focusing a lot on horror, as you can kind of guess from the title. Uh, let's have a look at some of the recent videos that they did. So yeah, recent videos include uh, Laughing at Shadows book review. We have a, a ranking of Kate Bush studio albums, uh, July reading wrap up with Horror in 24, my horror movie collection, uh, an August TBR, all the kind of good stuff really, and some great tags as well. Uh, I really enjoyed his version of uh, the A New Kind of Summer tag. Uh, he did a horror specific spin on it. All right, up next we have It's Mikey's Mind. So uh, Mikey's a channel I've been watching for quite a while now, and um, he has a really interesting mix of books that he's into. Um, so for example, I mean, his, mo his three most recent uploads, he does a lot of um, reviews actually. He's currently doing a project where he's trying to review uh, read and review all of the BBC's big read top 100 books of all time, which is very cool. Uh, but yeah, he's recently reviewed Goodnight Mr. Tom, which I studied at school. Uh, he, re he reviewed The Mist in the Mirror, which I read about, what, about, I don't know, four months ago, something like that. And he, re and he recently read and reviewed uh, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson as well, which was also in um, the list of the 100 books to read, the BBC Big Read thing. So I'm really enjoying watching how he's getting along with this challenge that he set himself. Okay, so up next we have Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse. And here we have, again, a whole bunch of different stuff from Flannery O'Connor, The Pride and Prejudice. Uh, we have uh, Brandon Sanderson stuff as well. Bits about Buddhism. Uh, I was supposed to be doing a Hyperion buddy read as well, but I never got around to it because just so much stuff to do, to be honest. Uh, enjoyed his spotlight on Chuck Paulinick as well, and uh, he's done a couple of videos on uh, the Tibetan Book of the Dead as well. It's all very interesting stuff, so uh, definitely go through and check his channel out. All right, up next we have Final Blow Joe, and Joe is, uh, I, I was going to say a fellow Brummie, but I'm not really a Brummie, I'm from Tamworth as opposed to Birmingham. But um, we grew up in a similar area, Joe reads a lot of um, science fiction mainly. Um, so every time I read a bit of science fiction I tend to end up chatting to him about it because I'm not a huge sci-fi fan but I do dip my toes in here and there. Uh, so yeah, if you're into science fiction for sure definitely check out Joe's channel. But he's also just a really nice chap. Alright, these next few are some like, I guess like almost conspiracy theory channels. I don't know, some of them focus more on murders. So we have Night Docs. Uh, so Night Docs is more, yeah like... I don't know, conspiracy theory stuff. He's kind of like an investigative journalist, so, um, but to be fair to him, he is kind of a skeptic as well. So I watched one of his videos, um, there was this rumor about this like mysterious room at, at, at this hotel, and um, like people had been like shown into it and then immediately moved out and all of this weird stuff, and he managed to book himself a stay in that room. And uh, yeah, it was just a weird hotel room. He thought for a little while there might be a double mirror. Um, but then he tested it using some hacks he'd found online and discovered that it definitely wasn't a double mirror. It was all quite like interesting. It was definitely quite cool to, um, you know, to see his approach to carrying out an investigation. All right, next up we have Mr. Davis, who is another one of these uh, true crime channels. Um, more of a sort of a laid back style, I suppose. He's done a really interesting series where he's looked at cold cases from every US state, and then when he finished those, he moved on to cold cases uh, from Canada as well, so I thought that was quite interesting. And uh, he's also done like a series on the FBI's most wanted list throughout the decades and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, definitely, if true crime is your jam, you should uh, check his channel out. And then we have the king of true crime, at least as far as I've been able to find, and that is uh, that chapter. So he's an Irish guy and he's very amusing, like, um, he'll just sort of, the way he speaks is very, like, true to himself, if that makes so, sense. So he'll be like, uh, and so the police came along and they found this clue, and did they, did they check it for DNA? Did they bollocks? They, they said, ah, feck it, and moved on to the next thing, and just very sort of, yeah, quite a British sense of humour, but he covers all sorts of international cases. I mean, he's done some um, French ones, I've noticed, as well. Um, yeah, just probably the best of all the channels, because he really thoroughly does his research. Uh, th these, Some of these have also got, like, paranormal stuff as well, but to be fair, because these are, like, true crime predominant, 
they um, when they do look at paranormal stuff they generally sort of debunk it really or at least they you know they tend to go in with like a fairly open mind but they'll normally come out and say you know I didn't experience anything <laughs> um, which you know makes sense to me <laughs> Okay, up next we have Madeline Swan. Madeline is an interesting booktuber um, because she does a lot of like societal commentary and talks about various different issues and whatnot. And she actually gets, I wouldn't say trolled, but she gets a lot of people who disagree with her coming onto her videos. And, um, you know, she gets a lot of dislikes for things um, which I think are unfounded. It's, we won't dwell on the negative. The cool stuff is she's a bizarro author, so I've actually read her book. And um, she does a lot of like really cool videos as well where she'll like dig in and look at, say, the creepiest videos that people have suggested and stuff like that. So um, yeah, definitely one I would recommend. Then we have Beth Chat's books. So um, Beth has been around for a while, although she's had a hiatus here and there and whatnot. She's a fellow British booktuber. She reads, again, quite a, quite a variety really I mean one of the reasons I like her channel is because I don't know what I'm gonna get so that makes it kind of hard to rec recommend it to people um, because I couldn't say she you know she reads fantasy or anything like that she just reads a bit of whatever takes her fancy I suppose but um, she's a very approachable person and uh, yeah I always enjoy her videos and so I've been glad to see that she's been uploading again recently and speaking of people who are uploading again recently, we have Steve Partridge. Um, I love his channel just, again, he's quite a chill, sort of laid back, uh, softly spoken guy. He uh, reads quite a lot of non-fiction and self improvement -y stuff as well, which is quite cool because it's not necessarily covered that much. But he does read a lot of fiction as well, like I think it was, was it Brandon Sanderson he was reading recently? One of those fantasy epics anyway. Um, but yeah, also it's cool because he lives in Berlin and I really like Berlin. I, I had a lot of fun when I went to visit it, so... Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just cool to see him as like a, an expat uh, living in, in Berlin. And overall, yeah, just a cracking channel with um, a lot of great stuff to read and uh, recommend from him. So there we have it. Those are 10 booktube channels that I would recommend to you for the month of September. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments which channels you're watching uh, so I can check those out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video and if you found it useful. You can find the links to all of these channels in the description box below. So feel free to subscribe to any of those that take your fancy and also to hit subscribe to me if you would like. Uh, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye